Welcome to the Terra Prime Training Hall. Today we're going to go over a very basic, fundamental thing about all sword play, sabering included, and that is follow through and overswing. Okay. Now, this is something that is very, very important when starting out because most people do this a little bit wrong and mix up the two. A follow through, as we're saying, is something like a side strike, where you have a full amplitude strike that's coming all the way through. Uh, ben is going to help me demonstrate some of these here in just a second um, so that you'll, you'll see exactly what we're talking about. Um, follow throughs are on purpose. Overswings are not. Overswings, you're putting too much power into the swing and you're, you're moving your target, you're, you're going past your target. Um, so why don't we get right to it here and we'll demonstrate. So. <clears throat> so. Okay, so. When we are facing off, and if there's obviously, we'll, we'll take it strike by strike. If I do a side strike here, and I'm coming through there, this follow through is often something that is complained about. Um, you see it in cutting a lot. This is, this is the place that you end. Even if you're not trained in cutting, that's probably the place that you're going to end. And the reason is because it's a follow through. If I know that I'm stopping my saber back here, I remain in control of it, okay? Overswing would be kind of like that, where I'm whoa, just letting it go and there's no control. But if I'm going here, that's a full amplitude swing. Now if I'm here and we, if I do that swing and he parries it, I don't get over here. So in combat, you're never necessarily going to get back here unless you go into a guard, right? Because if he parries it, my spy blade stops. I'm certainly not going to come in and go when I'm out of range because he's just going to hit me. Right? That's it. Okay? But being able to follow through into this guard, if I'm here where we go one, two, three, I come down, he comes up, and I can come back in, that's fine. Also, being able to finish here. I'm now in a guard. That can get him to come in, and I can come underneath, right? So the follow-through is one thing, okay? It's another reason we have the guards, okay? Guards are generally positions that we end in follow-throughs, okay? An overswing would be me swinging at him like this, okay? I take a swing here, and it doesn't connect. Right? Happens all the time. If it's down, it'll usually do this and hit the ground. We don't want that to happen. And the reason why is this. If I let it hit the ground, that means I've let all of the momentum carry that sword through. And then that's what leaves me open. Okay? So if I'm here and I overswing with him, right? If he can get me there, right? Okay? You just wait for that overswing, and it comes through. If he, if he swings at me, and I notice that he's hitting my blade very hard, right? Keep going. I can just whoop, pull it away. He continues through there, and then, I, and then I can't get it. Now, if he notices that and he does it, there are ways around that, right? Right? I come through. And I let it go around. Okay? That's a guard. That's not an overswing. That's a follow through that comes into another guard. And it provides me a little bit of protection. But if I go here and I just let that dissipate, all that force dissipate, that's when I'm open. And it works all over the place. If I'm standing here like this, I'm open. Right? Okay? So as we square off, we need our, our, our blades pointed towards each other so that when we come in, right, 
we can get we can get in and out. Notice if I miss, I'm down here. Okay? Even if I if I miss here, okay? Good. Okay? So now that was an overswing. I'll show you a follow-through. Okay? In, it continues up and over. All right. So that's generally the difference. You'll see different follow-throughs for different strikes. Cho doesn't have much of a follow-through. It keeps the blade pointed there. And that's why it's usually used in, in sparring. You're probably not going to want to use a follow-through when you're in the middle of a melee. That's true. But the, the idea that you'll be able to do it is kind of erroneous because you won't really have enough time, whoops, sorry, to come through. You'll usually just, boop, stop at the target or come through. The idea, of course, is if these were real, we could slice directly through things with, so that would offer no resistance and we would have to control the saber in the rest of the arc. So there you have it. That is the basic concept of follow through swing. We'll show you a little, a couple of examples um, from some of the campers of last week's camp and some of us uh, more experienced guys doing it because it happens to all of us. So, thanks to Ben here. Thanks to all of you for watching. Join us next time in another episode of Training Hall. Until then, may the force be with you and happy sabering.